Ghost of Yote protagonist is voiced by radical activist Erica Ishii, who thinks the police are white supremacists and supports the transgender ideology. So she is woke as fuck. But the, now I, I hope and I pray to God that her woke ideology does not get into the game. Now, her face, I think, is um, also um, uh, her face is also. OK, I'm not sure about that, man. I'm, I, I'm not sure about that. But the thing is that let's say if her face is, uh, you know, they're modeled after her and then I, she's doing the, the English, you know, translation. Just play the game in uh, Japanese. Just play the game in Japanese translation. All right, Sucker Punch, a subsidiary of PlayStation Studios, announced their next title, Ghost of Yote, uh, a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, and revealed that the game's main character, Atsu, will be voiced by radical activist Erika Ishii. Yeah, so it does actually look like her, but less fat. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is where it's it's good. Sucker Punch did a good job is because she's she looks like she's fat here. And then they made her less fat in the game. Big W for Sucker Punch for making that happen. Because it does actually look like her. Okay. All right. Sucker Punch shared on X. We are thrilled that Atsu is played by the amazing Erika Ishii. Okay, there it is. Uh, and then right over here, Ishii is a, a, a radical activist who claims in her X file that she uses all pronouns. Dimension 20 dropout. Crit, row, gender, fluid, I'm assuming, all pronouns. That's a big red flag already, in my opinion. Okay, whenever you have a person like this who uh, preemptively uh, goes ahead and blocks everyone, like right as the game is announced, uh, preemptively it says all these crazy things and is a crazy activist and says all pronouns, this is, pre this is a red flag. Now, here's the thing. House of the Dragon, right? Emma Darcy, non-binary. None of that shit's in the show. There's some gay shit that happens with her and um that uh that that, that uh what Lady of Whispers whatever her name is uh yes in season two but overall the show was pretty good right especially season one let's see furthermore Ishii is activist uh, activist that supports body mutilation in June she encouraged her followers on X to support for the girls that targets black individuals to encourage them to butcher. There's nothing here. Uh oh, I don't want to press on this. Uh, we might see a lot of mutilation. Just, not, not, just, just to make sure, just, just, just to make sure. Just to make sure we might see bonus holes and weird stuff. We don't want to see that. She wrote on X, quote, non-black folks looking to observe Juneteenth. Black nonprofits often receive aid in boom or bus cycles. This year, consider making a monthly pledge. Whether you donate, volunteer, or commit to learning, please join me in my quest to be international and sustainable. Uh, sustainable. Uh, I'm supporting For the Girls, a black trans collective that helps pay for rent and gender-affirming surgery in the black LGBTQ community. Aren't these the three girls that was in um, that black movie? That was really good. Hidden figures. Yeah, this one, this movie was really good. Okay. Here's another one. A black trans collective help pays for, okay, there it is. Uh, is she previously promoted an organization in 2023 as well? Today, please consider supporting for the girls, a black trans led nonprofit. Uh, but please join in pledging. No. Why would I spend my heart? That's def. That's. That's definitely that's definitely a man for sure. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that's okay. Moving on. In February of 2023, ahead of Hogwarts Legacy release, Ishii appeared to support the failed boycott of the game due to J.K. Rowling's outspoken stance on transgender activists. Is Ishii wrote, "I used to love Harry Potter, went to every midnight release, cosplayed, and even in a Harry Potter themed improv group. Now I'm happy to instead support." and be a part of fantasy narratives where all are welcome. Trans community, we deserve our own better magic. You mean black girl magic? Oh my God, dude, she looks, she looks, she looks like an activist. She looks, she looks, 
like those people with like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, are um, what are your pronouns? You got to put your pronouns in your body. Like if she, if she was HR at the place I work, she putting your pr uh, pronoun in your bio will be mandatory. Man. Okay, uh, in subsequent muting, but all but wanted to reiterate trans rights are human rights. I asked that instead of replying to negative comments to turn that uh, that effort towards positive action, a donation sharing and supporting trans creators and trans joy and checking in with your trans friends and their happiness. Okay, all right, if she continued right over here. Uh, we will not let these terrorists shake our resolve. 2020 showed us that we will rise up and make our voices heard. Despite voter suppression, facing down a white supremacist police force, risking health and safety, we hit the polls streets to say no more. They can't stop us. Historically, the answer to an attempted coup is to never acknowledge its legitimacy. We will not ignore this. We will treat these terrorist thugs are like the unlawful mob they are and hold accountable for those responsible for this uh i i agree with the bottom one we cannot ignore the people who riot loot steal and murder it's because they are terrorist thugs and they these people came in mobs burn cities down a lot of people died a lot of livelihoods were you know a lot of people lost their livelihoods because of the 2020 riots that the summer the summer of gayness right and yeah, we need to hold those assholes accountable. Absolutely, but I don't agree with the top one right over here. Attentive Q, what the fuck are you talking about? Now, here's the thing, though. Were there people that went, that, that you know, that during J6, that did a lot of shitty things, broke into the building? Yes, that's bad. But what about that grandma that went in? It's like, oh, this is the capital, and she gets arrested? That's dog shit. But man, um, there, so, and we have another one over here. Okay, so this is YouTube's thing. Our hearts are broken over today's terrible tragedy in New Zealand. Please know that we're working vigilantly to remove any violent footage. I hope now you understand that we have a responsibility not to give hatred a voice. Islamophobia and white supremacy do not deserve a platform. The site allows people to disseminate good messages and create loving communities. Protect those. Don't give power to messages of hate. Uh, that sounds like you are anti First Amendment. But a lot of, uh, what's it called again? Um, you know, Marxist, communist people are. A lot of them are. But this is the person that is, uh, you know, going to be the voice of uh, Atsu in uh, Ghost of Tsushima Part 2, Ghost of Yote. Now, here's the thing. The game could be really, really good. Um, I don't want any garbage woke shit in there. But if you play Japanese, I get, uh, you know, Japanese um, dub. Uh, you will never hear that. But, like I said, she's been going around preemptively blocking people. Your boy got blocked. All right? And I, the thing is that I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm not controversial at all. Okay? I don't say anything crazy. All right? I don't, I, I don't say anything crazy at all. Like, you know, like cats are sour. That's why we don't eat them. That's why we eat dogs instead. Right, I don't say anything. The fact that she blocked me, I would consider this Asian on Asian hate, Asian on Asian violent. Right over here, man. Like I, this is this. How do I, I don't even know who you are? Like I, okay, and I'll, I'll, I, I don't know. Maybe she, she found that I was like following people that she doesn't like. I was following, you know, Alex Jones or something like that. I was following, I don't know, Jerem Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers or Gary from Neurotic, right? Maybe she saw that I was following them and she just like mass block everyone. I don't know what it is, but oh man. Uh, let's, let's hope and pray to God that her woke insanity, her woke garbage does not get into the game. But Im imagine this face being in the game. Man, here's the thing, though. I wish there was an option to play as a man, you know, but I understand this is a character driven uh, type of video game. Now, if her boobs are massive and her ass is out of control and is really big, I'll be OK with it. 
I'll be okay with it. Just shut your mouth, don't say anything, and just let me goon to your asshole. 